Hello friends. Today we will learn how to take server backup in Mark software. In Mark software, we can take backup in three ways. First one is backup of financial year. Second one is IMP backup and third one is server backup. In financial year backup, we can take backup of single financial year at a time. In IMP backup, we can take backup of multiple companies and server backup is basically to take backup of all the companies in a single go server backup is automatically taken after a certain time period for that you have to set the time period afterwards you don't have to take backup again and again now let's see how to take server backup in mark software firstly we have to go to the location where our Mark software is already installed. On that location, there is a file named server. Basically, it's a server.exe. As you click on it, we will encounter the various options. First option is take backup after. It means in this, we will specify after how many minutes we have to take backup of the company. Suppose we set timing as 60 minutes. Next option is first backup after. In this field you will specify after how many minutes we have to take first backup. Next is backup path. In this we will define the path where we have to save the backup. For example, D drive back server. Next is maximum backups. In this field we will specify how many times we want to have the backup of financial year in a single day. As you can see right now it is showing 20 but if you want to change so you can do that also. After that next is backup off. In this field you will encounter three options current, all and no. Now if you want to take backup of the current financial year then we will mention current in this field. If you want to take backup of all financial year then we will select from here all and if you don't want to take backup of any financial year then you will select from here no. So for the time being we are setting up as current. Next is upload on net. If you don't want to upload backup on net so you will select from here no means software should upload the first backup of the day. So if you want that day's first backup should be uploaded then you can make use of this option. Next is alternate backup means software should upload the alternate backup in a day. After this next is all backup it means it will upload all backup on net. So for the time being we select all backup. Next is FTP website. We can mention the link of FTP or website in this field. For the same, we can provide the user ID and password. And after that, next is change password. If you want to change the password, then you can select yes. Otherwise, you can select no. Now after this, press enter. And it will start running and will show you the waiting on the screen. So friends, in this way you can take server backup. Now after that, again we move on to the server backup window. Now here you can see, you have some more options which you can also use at the time of taking server backup. Now as you can see, here is an option time zone. It means the alterable time zone can help us to work in different time zones. Next is local server name it means you can mention the local server name if there is one present in your premises next is data synchronization if you require the data synchronization means if you use the data sync option online then you can set this option to yes otherwise set this option to no now after this next option is EDE timer EDE means electronic data exchange. 
if you want to exchange data electronically then you can set this option to yes otherwise you can set this option to no basically this option is used for email on so right now we are selecting no next is send sms it means in mark software if you have taken facility of sms then you have to set this option to yes otherwise you can set this option to no similarly next option is email it means in mark software if you have taken facility of email then you have to set this option to yes otherwise set this option to no and at last next option is gap in two email it means in this option you will specify the gap between two mails so friends in this tutorial you have seen how we can take server backup in mark software thank you